Hey, this is kind of a fun one for me. I get that this is only the second time this has ever actually happened, but a customer sent me a top loader that he or someone he knows tried to AV mod for him and it failed. And of course he also sent me another one that he wants me to mod. This one's still unmodified. So uh, the first thing I noticed was right away they appear to have lifted pin 22 on the CPU instead of the PPU. See that? Here's the PPU, untouched. Here's the CPU. And it looks like he's pulled power and ground, which that's okay, but he's actually lifted pin 22 of the CPU to try to pull video to Because if you follow the blue wire back here, it leads right in to the transistor of the mod. Which normally would be right, but but that is wrong. That's probably the whole reason the mod did not work. Everything else looks actually looks okay. Um, another funny thing I started noticing first, I, I noticed how really clean this board is. I mean the. The 72 pin connector, almost no corrosion on it. The board is very clean. So I immediately picked up the shell and flipped it over and noticed it's a 106 serial number. So the serial number, uh, they all start with NN and the last digit is kind of shaded and it's just a check digit and doesn't mean nothing. But they all start out with 10 and then they'll actually have the number for the actual console and this one is a 106-04391 so basically what that means is there were 600,000 consoles ever made in the US for the top loader and I'm not sure exactly where but somewhere um, in the, in the 106's they started using a different sticker for the call center this is this one's a, a 105 and this one has Mario walking with a toolbox and a screwdriver that's what they all have up until somewhere in the 106's I actually did have a 106 I don't know if it was I don't, remember, I don't remember the show number exactly, but it was very, very low 106 that still had him walking. But this one probably had, and you can see it on the website, uh, halfway down through the intro page on my website, um, there's a little section for the serial number and it shows both different uh, stickers back here. But anyway, uh, the customer wanted me to peel this off and put it over over the uh, the 106's holes because whoever drilled the holes didn't get them straight. We just covered up with that sticker, but this sticker is in pretty poor condition. Well, and since it, it's probably the uh, the bust of Mario instead of Mario walking with the toolbox, I might just print off a fake one and put over that. It would have probably actually looked nicer than this. It may not be original, but I don't think this would be original anyway either. So anyway, that was kind of uh, kind of heartbreaking because this thing is absolutely mint. Otherwise, the 106 is means it was later in production, a little harder to find. And I don't know if this is a repair or not, but it also has Q1 and Q2 are different. And there's also a picture of this on my website. You can see it's it's a uh, the transistor is standing up. Um, that's what they normally look like right there. That little rectangle like that. And Q1 is an A933, and Q2 is a C1740. Um, a lot of people claim that some of these repairs were to help with the video quality 
and I, I really don't see it. I still, I still say it's it's all about lifting pin 21 so that it's not receiving interference from the, the data lines that are right next to it. And obviously that was the idea they were having here too, except uh, wrong chip. <laughs> so I'll probably, obviously I'll desolder that off of that leg and I'll try to solder it back down to the circuit board. And since the the RF circuit's still intact, it doesn't look like he actually used any donor parts off of this board for his mod. I'm just going to see if it still works in, R, in a RF and if it does, then we'll uh, install the mod the proper way. Okay, well, put it back together, and luckily it still works as it's supposed to. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and reinstall his mod and see if, it, see if it'll work just like this. Okay, it still failed. I've got it properly hooked up for power, ground, and video. So I started looking at the actual layout of his mod and it's very dodgy on the bottom. It's very hard to make out, but I did find out that it is in fact routed, I guess you should say, incorrectly. Um, according to my notes, uh, used, uh, using a harvested NPN, it looks like See the blue one is video. The blue one does go into the base. He does have collector to ground, but the emitter is supposed to have power, which is yellow, go through 300 ohms, which it does. But on the other side of that 300 ohm, it's supposed to hit the emitter. So it looks like he's going to the wrong side of the 220 with his emitter. So I can change that one wire to see if that works. I just went through the rest of the circuit and the rest of it actually looks okay. So, so far we're down to um, the emitter was wired incorrectly and they were pulling video off the wrong chip. That may be all that was needed. Alright, there it is. It's working. So just two little errors is all it took to mess it up.